when we got to my hometown is when we started eating so much. It's everything that I had dreamt of, everything that I've been longing for for such a long time. We went walking around in places that I used to grow up in, um, the Sunday market. And, you know, it's just really nice to go out to the hawker stores and everything. So we went out for dinner and Levi was obviously a center of attraction everywhere. Everyone loved him so much. He had such a good time. He was so curious. He wanted to see everyone. He wanted to try everything. He didn't really eat everything that I offered to him. But there were quite a lot of variety for him to try and he enjoyed eating. We found out that he absolutely lo loves fried rice. He likes fried rice even here. But in Malaysia, fried rice was always the easiest option for us to pick for him. He doesn't quite like dim sum. He doesn't want to try that at all. Um, but other variations, he tried a little bit, a little bit of noodles here and there and everything. But it was a good variety that he tried. Stand by you when you're falling When the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me some paperwork to do at the lawyer's office and bank so I left Levi with Lakshman at home on Monday morning and we both went there was a lot of signing a lot of paperwork to do but thankfully everything was completed while my mother and I were out uh, sorting out all of our paperwork and office work and stuff Levi and Lakshman went out to the park they went and played at home it got to a point where all Levi wanted to do was go to the kitchen and take things out from the kitchen and put everything out, lay everything out on the dining room area. I don't know why he did that, but he kept taking everything out and we tried to put everything back and he was upset with us for trying to put everything back again. Sometimes you go and buy so many toys for him, but all he wants is these basic things. That's it. <laughs> I 
letter from a friend of mine who saw you just the other day. Oh, I guess that you were back in town. It's been a long time since you've been around. Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby? First stop for shopping was Levi's Toys and Household Stuff. I don't want to buy anything expensive but I was very keen on buying random cheap stuff for Levi because he likes variety. All kids like variety. They don't like to play with the same thing over and over and over again. They want different things all the time and I normally rotate his toys as well. So I was keen on getting him a couple of things where I could rotate easily and which wasn't too expensive as well. And Mr. DIY Shop and a couple of other toy shops did the trick for me. He loved playing with the car so much that he sat flat in the shop there on the on the floor playing with it and he didn't even want to leave. While I was getting stuff and putting in the basket, Levi was so quick to randomly pick stuff and put in the basket. We ended up buying a couple of things that I didn't even know that he put in there, but it wasn't totally wasteful because I could still use it. And the excitement for shopping is definitely real. And Levi enjoyed pushing the trolley for me. He's like my personal shopper too. He always pushes the trolley for me and comes with me. We were young and foolish then. Oh, how I wish we could go back again. I've decided it's been too long, baby. Reaching out to touch your heart. Hope for a maybe. I get a one way ticket down the memory lane. There are two hearts beating. Just nothing will ever be the same. We had a chance, babe, to work it all out. We were leaving to India the next day so I had to do all of my packing at night. When I finished my packing and weighed everything, it was far more than I expected. We have lesser luggage for our travel from Malaysia to India because it's not the same airlines. So I had to, you know, be very strategic with my packing and buying the rest of the grocery stuff. So I ended up carrying my weighing scale when I went to do a couple of grocery shopping the next morning so that I was within the limit. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again in the next one where I will meet you from India. Bye! I changed my mind too many times If I say that I 